a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And yes, welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show, always helping you win as a consumer advocate, making you more street smart here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, online at consumerqb.com, at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB Show as well. And we always like to feature our real estate listings here on the program. Uh, we got a couple of hot listings from the Platinum MVP team, 501 Haven Boulevard, number 803. Uh, this is in Palm meadow florida beautiful property waterfront uh condo here i I love the view from the eighth story here this is two bedroom two bath flexible space as well 1549 square feet Uh, you have sweeping panoramic views extending from the manatee river to the riviera dunes marina as well as the tranquil community lake as well now the building has awesome amenities you've got a heated pool with an awesome waterfall feature climate control storage under building parking a a picturesque putting green and a an entertainment patio hurricane impact windows as well great location as well uh, at this property 501 haven boulevard unit number 803 and that's in palmetto florida tile flooring in the in the condo unit beautiful property here great opportunity you can see uh, the open houses as well coming up for that property in palmetto florida all right, we have a commercial property at 5146 Marine Parkway. Of Our team will list residential, commercial, vacant land properties. We've got about 60 current listings right now uh, with our team. And this one on Marine Parkway is a great opportunity for a business owner. You have an exceptional storefront space, large windows that invite natural light in. It's an open and versatile floor plan that can be tailored to suit your business. And the owner occupies this space currently as a pool business. It's strategically positioned where foot traffic is constant, uh, excellent accessibility as well, public transport's close by. You're about 1,000 feet from US-19, where you have 40 to 50,000 vehicles a day passing by, and new condos being built right across the street from this property. 5146 Marine Parkway, Newport Ritchie, one of our commercial properties from the Platinum MVP team. And you can see all of our real estate listings online at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. All right, let's give a quick shout out as well to West Coast Premier Window Cleaning. They do a great job cleaning our real estate property. Shout out to Brian and his team over at West Coast Premier Window Cleaning. Uh, find them online, westcoastpremierwindowcleaning.com. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right, we got a great lineup for you today. Shannon Swill, t- uh, Sw- uh, Shannon Seal, easy for me to say, uh, Swim School coming up here in just a moment. we got Fred Mew, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Patrick Highland, a health insurance expert, as well as uh, your host of the uh, Sports Guys radio show on the weekends. And then Alex Blackbelt Lima uh, coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, and in studio, welcome in, Shannon. Pleasure to have you in. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, my pleasure. Absolutely. And it's great to, you know, have, uh, I love having different niche businesses on the show and another great example of a, of a niche business. Small business is the heartbeat of America. And uh, yeah, so swim, uh, SEAL Swim School, tell us about it. So we offer swim lessons, swim instruction for children as young as three weeks old, all the way through adults um, who are non-swimmers or just want to work on their Technique, so if they could participate in a triathlon or something like that, our average age would be between two and a half and four. Uh, and those are, you know, obviously um, those children are in need of some uh, swim instruction for the safety aspect and also just to let you as parents to relax and enjoy uh, the pool. Yeah, I love it. You can kind of mm-hmm. let your guard down a little bit, knowing that your kid's been trained and they can go in there. Now, you said as early as what was that? Three weeks. Three weeks mm-hmm. old. You got kids in the pool at three weeks old. Yes, Tell me about do. that. What does that look like? How does that? They are, I mean, they're tiny. They're yeah. infants. Um, it's so good for their little bodies. It's yeah. a great exercise. It helps with their development, mental and physical. And, um, I mean, we get them swimming. We take them under and everything. So wow. it's it's. It's a, it's an awesome foundation because it gets them ready right uh, for when they're ready to you know rock and roll and swim laps. I've seen some uh, videos online where they'll the, one of the first things you teach I guess and that is that at that age is where they just kind of get to their back and are able to kick. Yes, we do teach um, getting on their back, floating by themselves, independently, comfortably. We like to have them not just floating on their back and not just turning over onto their back, but also being able to have the awareness to, if they fall in, if something were to happen, to swim back to the wall. That's going to be their easiest and best bet. 
right? Um, or to the nearest exit. So if you have a pool at home that has a high ledge or high walls, you teach your children to get to the steps or to the stairs or to somewhere that they can get out. Right. And that's one of the most important things for yeah. for these little ones. So. Yeah, the safe the safety is mm-hmm. you know that's that I love that part of it just having it. And I noticed with Brady the confidence level just at our home. You know, just at our home, kicking around in the pool, and you could see he was like, oh, I'm a little bit more confident. Just just a little bit more confident and it's like every time it's that much better yes it is and it's so it's just so good for them but it's also so good for you as a family because it's just another area that you can bond in yeah. and have fun and enjoy and not um have so much worry especially once you get them swim lessons and if you have that swim instruction i mean it's just so important for these children to be able to be independent in the water yeah. and not have to wear any type of life jacket or water wings or anything like that because that's just a false sense of security then yeah yeah we're talking with shannon seal she's the owner of seal swim team right here in palm harbor uh you want to talk about your location and yes we um well we have seal seal swim school which is in palm harbor um we swim out of the montessori academy off of nebraska we also have another location in Newport Ritchie, Trinity area, and that one is um, at the River Ridge Country Club. Um, well, it used to be. It's not really an operational. It's just us there at the moment um, okay. utilizing that pool. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. fun. You know, it's a, it's a great time. Now, were you a swimmer back in the day? or? I was. I was more yeah. of... Um, Yes, I was a, a cut. I was a goofball out there, yeah, okay. so I was kind of being. I was the silly one that drove my coaches crazy. Okay. But, but yes, we've been. I mean, I was swimming since. I mean, I was an infant as well. My mom yeah. actually started this business over forty-five years ago. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So second-generation business. Yes. yes. Very cool. Yes. Yeah, I love that. I grew up in a family business, and uh, a lot of my aunts and uncles own their own business. At, you know, furniture mm-hmm. store, health food store, real estate company. Uh, game rooms and lawn services right so i think again that you know it is the heartbeat of america these small businesses and it's it's um you know it's 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 sad to see what's happening with some of the government too some of the government kind of little things are doing here and tax codes here to hurt the small business and you know they shut you down and when it comes time to the pandemic rollout but uh so how what are some of the commonly asked questions or frequently asked questions that you get misnomers around your swim swim situation there okay i get um i get asked all the time how long is it going to take my child to learn okay how to swim right um we personally my swim school seal swim school offers our classes in sessions so it'll be a four-week session which typically pans out to between 10 to 12 lessons and by the end of that a two-year-old such as brady um would be swimming independently at least three to five feet with their face in the water reaching and pulling their arms Um, they're able to turn around and get the wall if they fall into the pool and we work at getting them floating independently on their back. We don't say that that's going to absolutely happen within that four, four weeks or six weeks, but it can. And, uh, we're really good at what we do. We've done this a very long time. So yeah, we get there pretty quickly. Yeah, no, I love it. It's, it's, uh, I can give you a first, first hand experience and, and first class organization do a great job over there. And I uh, highly recommend Seal Swim School and uh, multiple locations in Bay Area here. And it, it's so neat. I remember one time the, the first video I saw where he just he went underwater and then he's kind of kicking or, you know, getting cl- back to the wall. I was like, oh, that's cool. I love it. As a parent, you're like, wow, cool. Yeah. Seeing him do that. We definitely get a rock and a roll. And that's for sure. And I was really lucky to be able to work with Brady first. And he is such a cutie, and and he did really really well. He's gonna he's gonna be a rock star, that's for sure. Yeah, thank you, yeah. thank you. Yeah, it's neat to see. You know, when you take it to the extreme too, if you look at like a guy like Michael Phelps winning so many medals, and uh, is that do, do you have? I mean, is there people in your family or that you've seen and kind of going in that in that direction of you know? So it's a, it's almost every sport now. I look at some of the baseball kids that are in my family, the nephews and different kids. It seems like back when I played, you know, we'd play all the different sports, multiple sports, but now it seems like there's specializations amongst the the kids and the athletes. They they pick one or two and go with those one or two. Are you are you seeing that too with the swimming? Oh yeah, we have um families that come to us that have 2-year-old children, 3-year-old children and they are out there. They are keeping them in every single session the entire season yeah. they are determined to make sure that that child is going to be a swimmer a competitive swimmer and yeah you know um we still go with the angle of we want to make it fun yep so and on a personal basis with all of our kids i have a lot of children so with ours um 
we've always encouraged them to do multiple sports because that cross training is so good. And right. and then as they get older and a little bit later on in life, they uh, are I'd say like high school, middle high school. That's when we let them kind of decide and and uh, kind of start to focus on the one sport, and yeah. we'll put our all into it. But. As for swimmers, I have yet of any of my kids to decide to be a competitive swimmer. Really? Yeah, yeah. but that's yeah. okay. You know, maybe it's because they grow up in the industry, but um, I, I do have a lot of family members and, and quite a few of our students have become um, really, really amazing. I'm waiting for an Olympian. I'm telling you, I'm waiting for that Olympia yeah. to say that I went to Seal. So I love it. One of these days. I love it. That's cool. Yes. Uh, we're talking with Shannon Seal here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I'm your host, Brandon Rhymes, and the name of the company is Seal Swim School. And how do you want people to connect with you? I would love for them to either um, give us a phone call at 727-943-8782, and any of my uh, team can uh, answer any questions they may have. Um, we also have a website, sealswimschool.com, and you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram. All of it is a seal swim school. Awesome. And you got the cool logo there. Thank the you. Seal, the seal swim school. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming in and, and uh, good stuff there. Good. Keep up the good work over there. I know the kids enjoy it. And uh, for the most part, you know, you do get some, some little cry babies yeah. here and there, but it's a scary thing. I remember I cried the first time I was in a swim situation like that, but, uh, but they get through it and it's better for them in the long run. Absolutely. I appreciate yeah. you having me. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Absolutely. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back with our contractor expert contributor, Fred Muth, Tampa Screens and Aluminum. Uh, Fred Muth, a.k.a. the Tin Man, coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're going to talk about supply chain, labor force, and other factors facing the real estate industry. And, of course, uh, his company, Tampa Screens and Aluminum, helping you with all of your screened-in uh, patios, pools, pool cages, and other uh other contractor needs. Fred Mew, Tampa Screens and Aluminum coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. And I say, Brandon Rhymes, knock out your competition. To 